All right, I've come back to this about four hours later and the paper's still damp. It's still as flat as anything. So I'm going to see what sort of marks I can make where I want to go with this. Do I want to put any green in it? But I think what I've noticed is the strength of colour that I want to add into this. So I'm going to go with my golden colour and you know maybe clean it off a bit all right here we go and let's see let's see what would happen it's a dry lighter i'll just make it that wee bit I still want to use right about there. I'm going to do this again on different paper. It is supposed to be watercolour, but uh, it'll look still not bright enough to my way of thinking. So I would possibly have to Find another. I, I just wanted to do this because this is, everybody says, you know, what colour did you use for this and what do you use for that? And you have to sort of approximate or find the best, the colour that suits you, that you think it should be. I've got this, um, this is quinacridone gold and I hardly ever use it. But I just wondered what it would be like. It's sort of browny. Everything that I put on this paper seems to look browny coloured. Oh well, I'm not going to use that. But I might mix it in with I want a slightly darker colour. Let's see what happens. I can get much better crisper edges now. I'm going to use red. Has that and actually this one is going to take over from that one you see once you've got I can sort of get a few bits details in but uh, be interesting to see once it's dry that just not just not bright enough I feel as though I want it to be it's not pink either. Just a very. Let's go for the bright red again. But it's going to look too dark. But still, let's see. Maybe once it's dry. It'll look paler, of course, once it's dry. What colour does that look? Oh, it's strange. Right, and I'm just going to go in with a very watery shadow colour. And let's bring in a touch of... It sort of makes it go brownie. I'll put in something there. No, everything, nothing looks the colour that I expect it to look when it goes on the paper. So it just shows you've got to get to know your paper. Everything's coming in towards that. Let's see. And let's see if I can get a shape coming down in here. Things happening there. Things. I'm just making it up now. Let's see. There's a bit coming down. Coming. So we could have another 
one in the distance. Bit of shadow coming down and bring it up against go in with this funny colour and see what happens. It'll go green. Right. There we go. I'm going to go and see what happens if I put the yellow in here. It's not goldy yellow, but I'm washing my brush nearly every time two different colours on. Oh, purples. Let's go with purple. It's all in shadow. Could get a bigger brush. So that's really quite a strong shadow coming down. But I've got to remember that it was a dark background of put so if I'm going to you see that won't even lift from that paper let's go in with some colour I've got some light there so I can make that the end of the it's not really it wouldn't really be there but let's get it brighter darker and this is another one sitting in behind. Let's bring it in. Probably end up not talking very much because I'm just really trying to decide as I'm doing it what I'm doing. So I've taken that green into the purple. Let's see if that'll make a stem. Yeah. Make it a wee bit darker as it comes up against. A bit bluer as it comes down there. As it goes up into let's put a little bit of I've got orange picked up orange there. How can I make this? Oh, it's brown. Let's go with purple. And this is another. I'm going to just it'll dry so much light it comes out here, and this is that's a lighter area. It's darker. Let's bring that under here. And there's a lovely shape coming out there. And down. And that's catching the light. That's coming round. I think that should be up there, but never mind. So that's dark. That's and everything's blurred, so we Let's put a wee bit of greeny colour in here, put it in a different direction from that. And let's see, I've got that purpley colour. Bring a bit more purple into the green, make green. And what would happen if I just go like that? It should really just come off the bottom. There's another one up there. Can tell I've now lost patience with this, and that put some water in, put something over here, so something coming there. How do I make this look as though it's? Let's see. I'm just going to. And 
just plain now. I'm just seeing what I could put in that might look like something. That bit didn't go anywhere. So I think what we'll do is... No, I'm just going to go and carry on, put a few more darks in in places so they're coming out. I'm going to use that purple and green to make a really dark colour. I'm just going to plop it in. And could get a wee bit darker in places. And I'm starting to draw with the brush, which is not what I intended to do. But you see, it, it won't actually stand out unless I do make the petals the background darker. That sort of disappears in there. Let's see, I've got that light area there, so I'll just have to darken that down there. It is, it is darker in reality rather than lighter, but never mind. And no idea what's happening there. Just don't like things. I'm just enjoying dropping colour in and seeing it going in like blotting paper. I've never had painted paper like this. It might just be old, but it's just good fun seeing what it'll do. Do you think I need a big dark bit back there? Don't know what's happening in it. Maybe it should, maybe I need a bit of this. Let's see what happens when I put it on. It'll go brownie coloured, but I don't know what's happening back there. And let's have another bit of colour in here, maybe a bigger shape. I'm just enjoying myself now. I'm not following anything at all. And, you know, I'm just going to leave it at that. Bye-bye. <laughs>